Let's make like a tree and stand. The baby tree is the smallest grass type. Seedlings do tend to get two leaves, or open like this, but the real detail is getting the betweeny bit, which Facebook have the hang of best. But I hope you didn't confuse this with a herb. That would have been embarrassing. Apple pay tribute to the way that Samsung designs are usually poorly compressed and fuzzy, then Samsung's looks pretty okay just to spite them. I like LG's leafy spread the best. Broccoli is like a tree tribute at. Right, there's a pun in that. A tree at. And the test is whether you can draw it without just drawing a tree in green. Facebook's is best. No, I don't think mushrooms are trees, but I've seen them grow on trees, and that's how the episode categories work these days. I mean, did you see the one I called ships? I have an instinctive revulsion to mushrooms and wish I could have a warning before scrolling past a photo of them on Instagram. But then again, I'm always posting pictures of spiders, and myself. There are so many subspecies of fungus, and you can't cover them all in one emoji, and I don't want to cover them all in more than one emoji, but we all know that Gnome, Toadstool, Mario, Power Up kind is the official generic one now, and this is best portrayed by Joy Pixels. But get me out of here! When distilled down to its cartooniest properties, that evergreen emoji tends to look so much like a Christmas tree, which I covered in another episode, you and we don't want some people saying evergreen tree and other people hearing Christmas tree. That would be disastrous. Apple's is less cartoony, but you can tell it's just made of melted plastic, like it's from a claymation film. A Christmas themed film. So it's gotta be Facebook. This tree is deciduous. Deciduous means falling off at maturity. I am deciduous. We know from childhood that a tree is a stick with a fluffy bit at the top, but the true artists draw separate branches going up to that fluffy bit at the top, and Facebook's is best. Oh look, a palm tree isn't actually a tree, because of course not, that would be too simple. I may as well have covered this one in the hands episode. Let's not complicate things, let's just admit Apple gets it. Then let's make like a coconut tree and coconut stand. These are consistently portrayed as halves, and the trick is not being distractingly imperfect whilst not being distractingly perfect. I've got the hang of that and so have Facebook. This is also not a tree. Should I have just done an episode called Not Trees? A cactus emoji had better look prickly and not too yo gabba gabba. The old AU design had a face and this is that face. LG's is a cutesy bunny, don't you want to cuddle? Ow. This is also a pretty good alternative to the shrug emoji and WhatsApp's is basically as good a portrayal of nail polish as any of those designs were. I think good Google have done the best job. Bear in mind, there is already a Canada flag emoji, which I reached in the third hour of my flags episode. The Wikipedia page from Maple Leaves points out that the Canadian flag does not change with the seasons. Maybe it should. Maple Leaves are often green, but not on this page. I gotta hand it to Apple. The dead leaf is the only foliage that gets me. Apple have done well, but Google's are too soft. The there's no crunch. You're barely even dead. Open emoji have tiny bits of trail mix, or maybe the leaves have died so dead that they're no longer leaf-like. There's thick ones, bay leaves, and whatever crap down here that can't compare to Facebook or Apple. And I give it to Facebook for color variety. Maybe chronologically this one should have gone before that one, a falling leaf before a fallen leaf, but I wanted to highlight how this one isn't interpreted as a sign of death and decay, despite very directly being that. Some of them are just deflating balloons, and this one never made much sense, just say Apple. If you liked this video, I mean, I was surprised that I sat material out of that too, but it couldn't have been your favourite.